Hello. 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 It's your Rat One Encounter, you Barry Radicate. We're here with Ursus and Barbecue Goth. Hello. And hello everyone. Um so we have uh you can't see it because I'm not trying to get this video like taken down. But um <laughs> we have the YouTube video for the direct open and I'm going to pop out the chat right now and then I'm gonna close Twitch. And you're gonna stare at this lovely image while we watch this trailer and discuss. Uh, well, watching we're, the whole we're not watching. We're, well, we're gonna watch until a game pops up, and then pause it and talk about the game, and then move on. So we just get through. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, idiot. Okay. Oh, idiot. Geez. But uh, doesn't doesn't want to be showing me the shit. Okay, so uh, Warrior Wear Gold. There's not a whole lot to talk about, I guess. All we have to say is that uh, we're all very pleased. It's fucking radical. It's a very lucky day. And a good day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nick, do you have anything deep, <laughs> deep to say about Warrior Wear other than like sick that it's coming out? I guess. Uh, we got new art of Ashley. Mm. Oh god. Gold, yeah. So. yeah. And we got the 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 uh, cat cat and Anna making out. Oh fuck! We need to see Mona. We do need oh, to see Mona. Yeah. I hope they put fucking Mona pizza in here. Yeah, dude. They said there's like 300 mini games in it, so. Mm, they're micro games. Micro games. Micro -games I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, next up after the mustache, we have Dylan's. The fuck is this game even called again? Dil uh, it's Dylan's Dead Heat, Dead Heat Breakers. Breakers. This game looks fucking awesome. Dylan's dressed like uh, Kenshiro now, <laughs> and like he's got like cool punchy things, and they they look like um like gasoline tanks, and, but then he puts his hand in it, and it's a big punchy fist, and you can turn into your own furry. That. <laughs> Huh? Sorry, you go ahead. That that was the moment where I was like, "Oh, hey, you can just turn into a furry in this." Well, <laughs> um, the the first Dylan looked really cool, but like I heard nothing about it, and I really saw nothing about it. But I think if I'm gonna get into it, this will be the game. Yeah, I mean, because it looks good. I mean, I heard I heard good things about it. I just never like. I think it was one of those things where it said tower defense, and I was like, nah. Okay. Um, but I'll give it a shot because it looks sick. I'm glad this is coming out though, because like Wooly, Wooly was just talking about this, and he was scared that it was gonna stay in Japan. Mm. Um, but that's neat. Is that first party Nintendo? Uh, I think so. Believe so. Oh, uh, Vor time. Yeah. Next up, we have Bowser's. <laughs> we have Bowser's Vor Adventure. I I just bought this on DS used, and I was gonna play it, but now I have to wait. It's. I didn't. Look at it. I, <laughs> I I didn't realize that the entire game's plot revolved around inflation and vor. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, can you can the can the chat? No, see? the chat can't see the trailer. Oh, okay, so no. I can't say look at that. No, okay. you can't say look at that. That doesn't play well for radio. You go inside um, Bowser's tummy. Yeah. So Bowser eats you, and then you have to make him drink water so you can swim around in his like stomach fluids. And then he shits you out. Yeah. And yeah. Then, he, then he shits you out, and then he gives birth and to a little baby. And then he can. turns into a macro and fights a fucking. And then he lays you in an egg. Yeah. yeah. It's great. <laughs> it's fucking weird, dude. It's a perfect game. It is a perfect game. Vor. Vor. Inside Story 2. Plus Bowser's Jr.'s Journey. It's not Inside Story 2. Inside Story. Yeah, it's just it's just Inside Story. Next up, we have Detective we have... Ryan Reynolds. I was just going to say, we have <laughs> Detective Deadpool. There he is. Um, there he is that you can't see. I'm not banned. You're banned. Um, Why are we banned? We're probably talking about Vor. I love you, Silva. We can't get banned from our own stream for talking about Vor. Yeah, not here. Can we? Not at the home of Vor. Is there any Vor in this game? The Ryan I Reynolds hope so. one? Probably. So, I don't really care, honestly. Yeah. Like, it's kind of cool. Like, anytime you see Pokemon just kind of hanging out doing, like, you know, day-to-day -day Pokemon things, that's kind of cool, where they're just kind of, like, wandering around the city, whatever. Um, but I don't really care about playing as Christopher Robin and helping Ryan Reynolds <laughs> figure out why the Charizards are being grumpy. Um, Speaking of Christopher Robin, this is unrelated. Did you see the Christopher Robin teaser? No, I saw that creepy bear you showed me. Yeah. <laughs> that was a creepy bear. He looks fucking Dude, horrified. Dude, Mewtwo looks so menacing in the Pika in the Detective Pikachu trailer. It should have been Frank Reynolds. It should have been Frank Reynolds. That's what I was saying. Um, 
And there's a big ass amiibo. Oh, I used the quick attack. Oh, I'm I'm tired now. Yeah, I think the jokes would have worked a lot better. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. as Trash Man, because yeah. like, oh, Ryan Reynolds. Geez, I'm so tired. Yeah, he's doing <laughs> anime voice. <laughs> yeah, he's just going, oh, I'm he's tired. Pikachu slipping out of a leather couch. <laughs> 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 all, all greased up and gross. <laughs> 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 and and then the Christopher Robin kid's like, call Pikachu an asshole. Okay, and so who's Pikachu? So next, he's up... the man of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we got Resident Evil One on 3DS. Yeah, oh, I'm so... sorry, Luigi's God. Mansion. Resident Evil Mansion remake is coming to 3DS. <laughs> um, I I I would have preferred this on the Switch, but I'm like, no. I am no. happy. Why not? No, it would have been cool on the Switch, it but I'm, I'm but happier like... that it's on here. I don't know. Well, I'm not as happy because my R button doesn't work for one thing. Oh, yeah. So I have to buy a new DS. Oh, wait, the general, Switch but... is portable. Never mind. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? I never play with my Switch portable, so I forget. Yeah, no. Yeah. Th this yeah, this, th been better this is better for me because I just throw my 3DS in my bag, but yeah. like I don't want to throw my Switch in my bag. This is something I want to play at the doctor's office. I yeah. will buy any Luigi's Mansion game they release, even if it's bad even like Dark the last Moon. one. <laughs> yeah, well, that was, I was going to say that the first First of all, the the map on the touchscreen is a cool thing. Yeah. But I I feel like maybe they kept it on 3DS just because of Dark Moon. Yeah. Like be, I assume. Like maybe because the audience was already there, they thought. Yeah, uh, it's already there because the engine already exists for Dark Moon. I well well I mean that and like if people bought because Dark Moon sold well, so it's like well all these people who bought Dark Moon would want to play a new Luigi's Mansion. So they just put the old Luigi's Mansion on there. Like That makes sense. Like, a lot more, like, little kids yeah. have 3DS and 2DS. So, you know, they they got their Nintendo Selects uh, Dark Moon, and they go, Wow, this is so cool! And now they see, oh, different Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Luigi's the Mansion. The real shit is here. Yeah. Luigi's Mansion Origins. <laughs> <laughs> But it's cool. I'm still going to buy it. I just would have preferred yeah. on Switch. Because if it were on Switch, then you guys would be getting a playthrough stream. But... This is Alas, called, it's called the the Luigi's Mansion incident. Yeah, <laughs> takes place in the Spencer Mansion. The game That's opens. an evil joke. Yeah. The game opens up on Toad's <laughs> face. You. The game opens up on Toad's face and goes biohazard. <laughs> Bioterrorism. Bioterror. Bioterrorism. So. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Kirby. Kirby. Hoshi no Kabi coming to the Nintendo Switch in like fucking six days. It's cool that it's there really are all these exciting. characters, but I honestly don't care about any of them because Dedede's there. <laughs> Do you see Meta Knight's shoes have like a texture on them? I guess open up the open up the Nintendo's like direct stream or whatever and just watch along as we're talking about these things. But why don't you just put it on the screen? Because I don't want the video get because so Nintendo you shuts get down. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. But or um, struck. but they they announced the Dream Friends thing, and the Dream Friends is pretty cool. I really love that Ricky, Kine, and Koo are one character, yeah. and were and are the, like part of the first DLC. Marks, I didn't play Marks' game. Was that Superstar? Yeah, that was yeah. Superstar. Um, but Marks looks awesome. I like the rainbow wings. And, I love Gooey. Superstar's and Gooey, nice Gooey from Melee, yeah. <laughs> Gooey from Super Smash Brothers Melee. Yeah. Look at his little floaty tail it's thing. Great. Anyway. Yeah, but Dedede's there. And Dedede, yeah, I, I love Dedede's stupid like face face slide. I yeah. hope he has he has a mega mode where I can turn swole. Yeah, where you get the swole arm. That's Ew, not just the boss. No. What game was that? Did that, that was this one? Is that this is one? It? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, that was the trailer. Yeah. I was gonna say, wasn't that a 3DS uh. one? Did I even did that even come out? There there's an actual trailer on the Switch like news thing yeah. of just his boss battles so, yeah. of him turning so swole. Why? Cuz it's good. It's and he like oh, okay. he swings around like Donkey Kong. Yeah. <laughs> so I I wasn't super hype about Kurt. I I was hype about All-Stars or Allies, but I wasn't like ready to go out of my way to get it, but all I needed was that one trailer and now I'm yeah. like back in I'm back in it. So that's I can cool. Play as D -D -D, so now I'm back in. D -D -D. Well, I like Rick and Kind and Koo. Yeah, so. and Go look at Gooey. Gooey's so great. Yeah. I like Rick because he's a hamster and he's Hoshi fat. No Kabi. Dude, I I like Kind in the anime when he fell in love with that human girl. But anyway, fucking Capcom finally finally Thank brought God. it up to Cap God status again. And it's we've not got Cap God status no, yet. It's not Cap well, God yet. It doesn't have a physical, so it's not. It doesn't? <laughs> no. no, it's a shot. We should probably say what we're talking about. Okami HD <laughs> finally <laughs> finally coming to the Switch. 
okay, so when Okami HD was coming out for PS4 and everything else, I was like, oh, that's really cool, that's really neat, I'm very excited. Wouldn't this work really well on a console that you could draw on the screen? Well, that's why it took so long or, to, like, to program the, the drawing. Yeah. Well, I forget that the, the Joy-Con is essentially a Wiimote. Yeah. And, yeah. like, the and so you controls can, are so good. Yeah, so you can so, use it as a, as a brush yeah. like you could on the Wii. Was Okami on the Wii or was Okam that Okami dead? Okami was on the Wii. Okay. But the motion controls were trash on the Wii, so okay. the drawing didn't work right. Uh, so it was a very bad version of the game. Because <laughs> there are boss fights where you have to draw fast. Mm. And it doesn't work on the Wii because... I the... assume you can use both, like, play styles in this one. Yeah, that's what yeah, it, it they says. Yeah, said tabletop it... and docked, you can use the Joy-Con and handheld, you can use the touchscreen. Yeah. And then there's a sushi thing that I don't know what the fuck that this is. That looks cool. super fucking cool. I did. I honestly didn't watch this trailer because I, I, as soon as this popped up, I was like, oh, I don't care, and I backed out. It's, it's like it's, a puzzle fighting game. They, I, they <laughs> talked about it months ago. Yeah, I, they did. Like... And there's I an don't anime. remember if it was E3 that they talked about, or that they showed something I, very briefly. I but think I it was, was like, the mini direct. I think you're right. I don't know though. But I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I backed out to tell Silva about uh, Okami. So, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, I mean, this game looks really cool. It yeah, I'll probably get it like regardless. Because like the graphics kind of remind me of like an indie game I wouldn't want to play, but it looks fun enough. And it has know. online fucking verses. It so. gives kind of a magical drop kind of feel, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido. I also wish it was Cooking Mama. Oh, it's on 3DS and Switch. Because yeah. I remember them talking about it for 3DS. But I, I think I thought about it like last week. And I'm like, did that ever come out? Yeah. But... Then let's skip over Octopath oh. Traveler. <laughs> Octopath Traveler announced two new characters. And, uh, a and, a, and a really cool job system where you can mix jobs. I like Grim Dawn. It. Yeah, like Grim Dawn. Yeah, like Grim Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> really cool, though. I, I'm still on the fence about getting this, because I really, I really, really, really don't care about talking to townspeople. Yeah. Yeah. But well, that's, the, like, half of the game. But the it... battle system and the environments and everything about it looks so fucking cool. Like, visually, it's beautiful. It looks like Minecraft. No. <laughs> <laughs> But I love it, though. It's just Final Fantasy VI sprites on, like, a, a fake 3D background. Yeah, I know! Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, three of the four classes we know about are just talking to townspeople yeah. and having different options. Well, they have different battle, like, capabilities, too, but it, they, they keep talking about all the social shit, and it's like, I don't care. Yeah. I don't yeah. care about the story. I know that stupid old men care about the story. But I don't care about the story. Well, I don't. I didn't like um, Bravely Little Fault, so I'm kind of biased. Yeah. But because oh, this, this is, is by them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, but I mean, from what I the demo I played, the five seconds of the battle I got to play after the hour of me walking through story dialogue was cool. I liked it. It felt good. I think it has a stagger system. Even I don't remember for sure, but I think it has like a stagger system. So but also, it comes with a coin though. What a it terrible does. name. I like yeah, the pop. I, I love the pop out diorama of the dancer girl though. I that was actually great. just gonna say, where are you supposed to put that on your shelf? That it's, looks fucking large. No, it's large. the book. The book opens yeah. up to the different characters. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pop up book. Okay, well that's so, cool. Yeah, it is cool. cool. The fuck there's is a, that? There's so, a coyote outside. Coyotes or some out shit. there, yeah. But yeah, Octopath Traveler. I like how that was uh, not final title, and then slowly just yeah. was like, oh no, it's not. It's actually the title. <laughs> <laughs> So well, they obviously don't know how to fucking name things. So their last one was Bravely Default. Yeah, that, fucking no was, more heroes. What was the second Bravely Default called? Bravely, Bra Bravely Second. second. Bra yeah. Oh my fuck. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, next up we have uh, Travis Strikes Back or Tra Travis Strikes Again. No more heroes. Which I don't know. I haven't seen like Matt talk. You know, like best friends Matt talk about this. I don't know how he feels about it being kind of like a like a he's, twin stick shooter. I saw. Oh, okay. He's hyped. But <laughs> it's, it's like twin stick shooter kind of yeah. looking, and it's kind of yeah. like I don't know. It looks really. It fun. It looks fucking awesome because it I really it wanted to play the first one, but I never got to. So yeah. I'm the, definitely gonna get this. The concept reminds me of a modern comics zone, but with video games yeah. instead of comics. It's Ready yeah. Player One. Yeah. Yeah, it is Ready Player One. And he does a suplex in that. the trailer. Yeah. It does look really cool. It's just the, the gameplay style shift from like over the shoulder third person action to like twin stick shooter thing is kind of yeah. weird. Well, now there's two players so we can actually do uh, play it. Yeah, yeah. two players cool. <laughs> so, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know. We, we could do a two player thing of that but I don't know if I feel like... I'm, I'm glad No More Heroes is getting like 
any recognition. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game that deserves... Like, even though I haven't played it and I don't really care that much about it, it does deserve, like... It's like Yakuza, where it, like... Yeah. yeah. It deserves the praise because it is cool. This will probably be its big break if... Yeah, I like, hope so. If well, the last two, one wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, two. I heard two wasn't like amazing, but it was good. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, next up is the thing that I'm very excited for. <laughs> uh, Dark Souls Remastered announced the Solaire Amiibo, which you can see on the on the the screen there. It's time to praise earlier in the game than you would be able to otherwise. It's the fanboy Amiibo. So, if you're not familiar with Dark Souls, it's basically Bloodborne, but with dragons. Oh my god, yeah. dude. <laughs> it, it's like Skyrim, but with guns. It's oh. like Mario 3, but on the PS3. Yeah. Anyways. Um... It's, it's the Crash Bandicoot of third-person action games. <laughs> but, um... No, I mean, it's just Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition, but on the... Uh, the network test is a cool thing. It's gonna be yeah. an op open beta. That'll be nice. Um, Does it... This is using the Dark Souls 3 engine, right? No, I don't know where that came from, but I I also heard that, but apparently that's not the case. Oh, okay. Oh. So, so it's it's just it's, straight it sound, up res? There, there's been a lot of confusing reports about what it actually is, but it because they said there's no new assets in it. So oh. it oh. sounds like just a straight up fucking up res port. <laughs> like, I mean, if it works on PC, yeah. then that's yeah. something. If it runs... They should give it to us for free on PC, but, uh, you know... If it runs in at least 30, and I know that sounds crazy, but for anybody who played <laughs> Dark Souls 1 and went It was through, like 15. In Blight Town, it's wow. like 7. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. I would say it's like it fluctuates between 30 and like 25 normally, um, but it does drop to like 15 in Blight Town sometimes. Because, like, Blight Town's fucked. But if Blight Town works, then perfect. But either way, like, it's Dark Souls, and I'm excited to play it. And if it doesn't work on Switch, I'll just buy it on PS4, so. <laughs> but I'm getting that fucking Amiibo, no matter what. They also gave a date for, I guess we'll talk about it later, but they did give a date for uh, Pearl and Marina. Um, oh, did they? It's March 23rd. Stop! No, is it, is it March? It's either March or May 23rd, but it's soon. It's, like, within, oh my God. within the next couple months. So, and they're talking in the trailer talking about the the my nintendo money system i don't even know what they mean by all that yeah i, I don't care no. <laughs> uh, i think i think nate got like two dollars off of something the other day i'm like good for you nate yeah. um anyway next up is mario tennis ace aces aces um they added combo breakers to tennis yeah <laughs> mario tennis is a fighting game now <laughs> So I saw Toadette and got really excited, yeah. and then I saw Bowser Jr. and got very excited, and then I saw Chain Chomp. Yeah, then Chain Chomp appeared. And I'm like, that's who I'm going to play as. Tennis refined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, refined more than the Wii U game. Yeah. Um, it also said you can unlock characters, so hopefully Birdo is somewhere in here. And I Dry hope. Bones. Who do you want, Sammy? Uh, well, Peach is in it, so, uh, and Wario's in it. Is Daisy <laughs> in it? Yeah. She, uh, has, she has, like, shorts and stuff. Uh, Koopa. I no. think they're already yeah. in. I have a collective answer for both of you, and it's Pauline. Yeah, I know. Yes, dude! Yeah, it's so gotta happen. They both want Pauline. I have Rosalina, and she's flying at all times. Yeah. She's in Dr. Coil permanent hover stance, and I'm fine with that. Um, I, I got my boo, and all I really need now is dry bones, and that's everyone that I give a shit about. Like, uh, and I would play as Peter Piranha, but Peter Piranha's already a boss fight, so... That's whatever. Um, also, like, this, other than the fact that, like, the, the Wii U version was awful, and they tricked me into buying it... It wasn't that um, awful. It, it really, really was boring, because this looks... No, it lot... wasn't that it was boring, it was it that, was like... It was boring, dude, but... Well, yeah, after it, a while. It was, it was a huge lack of features, lack of online multiplayer with friends. You could only play with randoms. Um, so this is a huge step up. Yeah, and this looks, like, awesome, and everyone has really cool outfits. And there's and, more than one stage. Well, I was just going to say, all the different <laughs> courses, and, like, instead of, oh, clay and grass and loamy sand, now it's, like, yeah. ridiculous forest and, and there's, fucking cool-ass tennis arena. There's a fucking super meter now, so. <laughs> Yeah. There, there's, there's guard breaks, and there's a super meter. Yeah. Um, you can aim your shots when you do the power hits or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, it looks like you can charge your swing. Like, yeah. you, there's a little... Oh, yeah. the you little, can do that before. The little charge meter pops up mm -hmm. around your thing. 
Um, the only thing I hope is that the the different stages don't actually affect like the balls bounce. Well, that's what it does. So yeah, like, but like you... I want to, I want at least a mode where you can play in the forest and not have the ball like have the ball bounce standard. You I'm know? sure. But there will be some kind of option because this yeah. looks just completely different and so much better. It looks like the other one was like an engine test. It really <laughs> does. Um, but I mean, I liked the the basic, like even just as basic as it was, it was fun to play the old one. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's super fun. I'm glad simple rules are back because yeah, that's always really that fun. That was nice. Yeah. I I need to see Donkey Kong Super move so that I can play as. <laughs> In the trailer, we see Mario fucking murder Donkey Kong. <laughs> Drill the ball through his skull. And then we see him do a super shot at, War at Wario, who just lazily walks over and blocks it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, sorry. They should play the, the third strike parry sound whenever you block it. They should play it every time you hit the ball. Oh, like, okay. psh, psh, every single time. They should, yo, if there's like special rules, like in Smash, they should have double speed. So it's like fucking table tennis. You know, you know what would be the worst is put Metal Mario in tennis. No. <laughs> oh, he's Mario, but he weighs 6,000 tons. <laughs> and he can't jump. Why couldn't it have been Mario Golf? Because Mario Golf is poo-poo. Anyway. Mario Golf is fun. Golf is poo-poo. The, 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 the last Mario Golf game was also a disappointment. Was so. it really? Was that the 3DS one? Yeah. You got that for graduation or something. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. There's one thing about this game that I don't like at all. Why am I allowed to see Waluigi's scalp? <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, it's fine. It's gross. Well, it's... he's a nasty old man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's he's an, he's old. He's got low T. His hair's <laughs> yeah, low T. That's why his mustache his isn't as, as wavy as yeah, it was. Really, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a tragic tale, really. He uses a crimping iron from Conair that you buy in the 90s <laughs> off of TV. I thought that, um... It's the one his mom left him. Yeah, I yeah. thought that him and Wario were together. <laughs> I didn't think he had God, one. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, Because they're not brothers. So. They're, they're, just, they're lovers. Yeah. They're just oh. guys being dudes. Speaking Thank of you, speaking of lovers, Mario, Aces, Mario Tennis Aces pre-launch online tournament. Yay! I love it. I'm so really that'll be happy. fun. I'm a gonna one, be a tennis master. A one versus one online tournament. Well, these fucking like these pre demos are really killing me, and because I've never played Dark Souls, um, so I'm really excited to, you know, try it on my Switch before I commit sixty dollars to it. It's forty. Yeah, it is forty. That's <laughs> yeah, wow. that's an important detail. Dark so <laughs> back to Dark Souls Remastered. Dark Souls Remastered is forty dollars. Wow. That's why I'm saying the world ends with you is a DS game from like twelve years ago, and it's sixty. Yeah. But Dark Souls is forty. Well, they yeah. know because idiot. They know idiots like me are gonna fucking buy it for sixty. Everyone's gonna buy it for sixty. Yeah, they are. It's good. Everyone would buy Dark Souls for sixty, but yeah, like, they would. But they're not well, we gonna be Todd to. Howard. Yeah. They're giving us. Yeah. This they're is also not gonna put half of the game as a digital download. Hopefully. Oh god! Oh no no that. no! That'll be part of like because Prepare to Die Edition was just one disc, so yeah. it, it'll literally just be Prepare to Die Edition on Switch. So, uh, what's next? Captain Toad. Captain Toad. Captain Toad gets a motherfucking Mario Odyssey stage. Is this just a port of the Wii yes. U game? Yeah. Okay. It's a port of the Wii U game on Switch and 3DS with uh, Mario Odyssey stages. Which yes. is huge. That's completely fine. And I this, this game already has like. 400 hours of stages yeah this game's stupid and we're getting more <laughs> oh does it didn't this have the thing where you were playing it and you beat part of it and it goes you've completed captain toad uh one you've unlocked captain toad two or yeah whatever. and yeah. There, there's like 50 of them oh there, wow there's it's, a, it's ridiculous this game is a trilogy <laughs> in one disc just like okami <laughs> <laughs> and it's a super fun puzzle game yeah it is really really cool like i it's one of my favorite puzzle games i've ever played I, I didn't play it, but I, I, I see the appeal. It's just yeah. something that doesn't immediately appeal to me. Like, you it's should a, get it on Switch. I should. It's just something that I don't really care to spend $60 on, just for me. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I think the 3DS one's a really good idea, because that's a game that you pick up and play a little bit and do a couple yeah. levels, yeah. and then you, you put it down. Yeah, for sure. Like, I just bought uh, Puzzle Adventure Blockle, the one with the titties <laughs> in it. <laughs> where you play as the cat thing and there's the 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 waifu which i'm gonna stream sometime soon but that game was 7.99 i'm like yeah i'll pay 7.99 for like a little puzzle game so 
But for Captain Toad, I was like, eh, I don't care about Captain Toad that much, but... How do you not care about Nintendo? I don't know. Captain Toad. He's cool. He's the strongest Mario character because he can traverse the Mario universe without jumping. God, yeah. he really is. He's he, like Cody from Final Fight. Yeah, he's kind of amazing. I imagine him, like, when he gets stuck in those places up in the mountains in, like, uh, Mario Odyssey, I imagine him just walking vertically up the wall. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the thing. He's like, I don't even know how I got up here. Ah, that's fucking oh, yeah, crazy. I, ah, I must have stepped through an ultra wormhole. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my wife I love her! Please don't push me off! <laughs> and then Mario's like, I thought you guys were asexual! And then Sans... Oh. So now... Sans Undertale. Sans Undertale. No. Guys! Moving on! <laughs> we did it! We got Mar Mother 3 on Switch. Next. It's true. Next. <laughs> how, how do I skip Someone the Undertale? Someone send the Pope yeah. a Switch. Yeah, somebody give the Pope oh, a Switch. Oh my god! <laughs> Watch the Pope owns a Switch and he's like trying to put his PC copy like like the the PC copy that Matt Pat gave him, he's like trying to put the code into the switch and he's like, Why doesn't it work? I, I don't think the Pope owns like a computer. Like, a, like an alarm clock. <laughs> well a anyone who hasn't played Undertale, buy the Switch version. Because it's on the Switch. <sighs> Nate says Undertale's good. I says I don't care if it's good. Isn't Nate bad opinions, Nate? Or yeah. is that someone else? No, nah, but Nate Nate's been pretty on the ball recently. You, it's Undertale's fine. It's fine. It, it's, that's the deal, is that it, it's fine. It's, it's okay, and it's not that good, and people really need to, like, chill out about it. It's because nice. they jump they jump down your throat for saying, oh, Undertale. It's like, what are you talking about? This game changed my life. It's like, okay, that's cool, but it's not that good. Everyone who played Undertale should play Ume Nikki. Sh don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> no, I'm saying... Because then you'll ruin Ume Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> They go, oh, but, uh, look at this Undertale ripoff. I'm like, okay, anyways, next. Yeah, uh, crash. fucking 15 years ago. Dude. I just, <laughs> like, like Undertale's the kind of thing where I, I could have ignored it and just not cared about it and been like, yeah, that's not my thing. But then people made it my thing. Yeah, they, And yeah. so, but, but it, if it, it's fine, like, it's whatever. It's okay. I'm glad it's coming out on Switch. Yeah, and Silva, if you want to try it, go for it, bro. Give I'm not Toby I'm not telling Fox you not money. to. Yeah, give Toby Fox your dollar so he can make more Homestuck. So the real news is how the fuck did a PlayStation exclusive like Crash Bandicoot that yes! gets on fucking Nintendo Miracles console? Happen. Because, I don't care, but does like, this wow. mean that Spyro's coming? Because Toshi uh, Toshi and marketing got confused. He's like, oh, is this Sonic? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, just just put it on the Switch. I don't know. Orange Sonic. That's where Sonic lives now, right? Is that <laughs> is that Super Saiyan? So quick, Silver. What's the word? What's the Spanish word for orange? <laughs> Neuron. Pop. This is Super yeah. Saiyan Four Sonic. Yeah, this is Super Saiyan. No, it's Super Saiyan Five Vegeta. Yeah. So like, if this means that Spyro has a chance, then I'm not gonna buy Spyro. When Spyro it already out. has a chance because the Skylanders is on the Switch. Oh, oh you're right. No. I is forgot it? that I forgot that that was Spyro. Well, I'm gonna steal Wooly's fucked up joke he made, which is where if they release Spyro the collection as Spyro Origins, <laughs> or, no, or no, 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 Skylanders Origins. Oh no! Like if they market it as Skylander, the the prequel to Skylanders, that'd be fucking hilarious. Does Crash take place Naranja. in the same universe? As it's on Super Kong? Super Saiyan Naranja Sonic. What'd you say? Does Crash take place in the same universe as Donkey Kong Country? Y yes, they do. Just on a different island? Yes, they do. Aww. Little Nightmares is good. Little, what is it? Little it's Fucking Nightmares game. is coming to the Switch. It is a horror puzzle platformer. Okay. It is a very good game. And, and I have you get a Pac-Man hat. You get a goddamn Pac-Man hat. <laughs> um, and I I watched Best Friends play it. That was my only exposure to it. But I was like, yo, this is fucking cool. Because basically your, your footprint, your feet are, you're wearing bare feet, right? Okay. And your feet make noise oh. and this monster here with the long arms who's blind he can reach really far but he can't see shit but oh. if you don't walk on the carpet and he hears you then you're in trouble okay and so that's the only part i've seen in the game is the long arm guy i didn't know there was two characters in it either i think the second character is an old dlc okay but yeah, yeah it's, it's just a, included in the switch version it's a really really cool looking game it's a it is an indie game correct yeah yeah but it, it's published by um bondi namco I think Maybe? that's why the Pac-Man hat is in it. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. It looks super creepy, too. I like yeah, how it's it like... I like how it's thematically appropriate Pac-Man. But, um... You have to have the Pac-Man amiibo, though. Yeah, it says... Yeah. That's that's to sell Namco. the Pac-Man amiibo. That's yeah. all over Target. To, to sell the Pac-Man amiibo, you can't buy anywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's uh, it's really cool. And I was gonna say... Oh, it's one of those indie games that, like... It's not like the other indie games on the eShop where it's, like... 
you can tell the trash ones from like real video games <laughs> it's like somebody actually gave a shit this is a really good game so i'll be getting that shit i gotta make a list of when things come out and how much money i have to spend on them <laughs> yeah next up we have south park the fractured butthole the little and yaoi racist boys yeah, yeah, the the best part about this trailer was listening to the Nintendo guy doing the voiceover. Say uh, come on butthole. down to South Park and have yourself a time on no, the Nintendo Switch. Hearing him like enunciate like the fractured butthole, uh. <laughs> like like making sure you don't think it's all one word. <laughs> but I mean, I I hear good things now. Can I I'll need probably to, buy it. I need to see the end of this trailer if there's any um. Okay, I don't know if they'll show the developer because I know Obsidian. It's Ubisoft. No, it is, but it is the Ubisoft. developer, oh. not the publisher. Because oh. I know Obsidian made the first one, but I don't know if they made really? this one. They probably did. If Obsidian made this one, then it's a good game. Yeah. Does it say there anywhere? Comedy mm. Central, Ubisoft, South Park. Nah, it'll probably Comedy say it partners. somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, Obsidians are—they're the people who made Fallout New Vegas. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they're and, they're good. And for anyone who doesn't know, this is the game that has the difficulty slider that is skin tone. <laughs> oh god. The the darker your character, the harder the game's difficulty. And you can't turn it off either. And a lot of people were pissed off about it and the the guys were like, Yep, that's how it be sometimes. Wow. <laughs> so that shit's great. That game was worth it for that joke. But uh so next we have Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches when? You can spring into action with Hyrule Warriors in spring. This um, has all the costumes, right? This has everything. I, I need to really buy this cool. The character select doing. screen is fucking enormous. It's ridiculous. I put on Skyward Sword Zelda, and then I put on uh, Ocarina of Time Link, and then I play as Tetra and ignore both of them. Breath of the Wild Zelda honestly looks amazing in this game. Yeah. She it, looks better in this game because she doesn't have a fucked up face. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's the good Zelda model. Yeah. And I think Hyrule Warriors Zelda is one of the best designs, too. Mm -hmm. I um, agree. I, I like Skyward Sword a lot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, not much to say about that besides that's coming out, and that's cool. I think it's going to be harder to go back to now that I've played a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors. I it's haven't just... played any Warriors in a very long time, like yeah. since Hyrule Warriors on Wii U came out. So. <laughs> well, they're releasing Tharja for Fire Emblem Warriors, so I'm going to be playing that a little oh, bit are again. They? Yeah, they're the uh, Awakening pack is coming soon, and it's it's okay. So this is kind of a funny story. It's Owain who is Lissa's son from the future, um, and Tharja and a third person who I forget who's the third person. It's Tharja, Owain, and somebody else. Nate will complete my thought, but. Uh, basically, so that whenever they have these these warriors or uh, updates, like the new characters come out, uh -huh. Heroes has map maps for those characters specifically. Ooh. But Owain's not in the game yet in Heroes, so they're using Odin, the Fates <clears throat> version of him, <laughs> instead of putting in the one that everyone's been asking Nate for. Said Olivia's oh. name go Olivia, Olivia is great. Um, so Skyward Sword that, is the not... one that the one that I got in Heroes, the pink yes. pink hair one, mm -hmm. Olivia, Tharja, and Owain. So okay. two good characters, and one I don't give a shit about, but everybody likes him. So Skyward Sword is not my favorite Zelda. It's my second favorite Zelda. Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda. It's probably not even my second favorite Zelda. I just like it a lot. Yeah, it's it's good. It has it, a lot of fucking flaws though. <laughs> it, it's probably one of those things like eh, yeah, you settle down, Nate. Owain's fine. I just don't care about it. But <laughs> is Owain a Vara? No, Owen. Okay. Owen. I, I don't remember. He, he's a JoJo samurai. Okay. He comes out when he put the hand over his face. He's like, my just, my sword trembles for justice or whatever. He's one of those guys. <laughs> he's he's fine. He, he's funny. I just don't really care for him that much. But because I think he's like visually, I think he's boring. But whatever. But yeah, High Roll Warriors. Um, Owen is is you but cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Is Dark Souls one bad at all? No. No. Dark Souls 1 is one of the best games ever made. Like, no no hyperbole, no memeing. Dark Souls is, like, a fantastic, amazing game. That's, like, universally agreed upon. And yeah. then 2 sucks. And, again, it is $40. Yes, you should buy it. <laughs> <laughs> that's Because that's Dark Souls original plus the DLC. Yeah, so. especially if you've never played any Souls games yeah. before. If it's if you're starting there, it's a good place yeah, to start. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. Oh shit, I gotta get Bloodborne for free this month. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, if you yeah. if you have a PS4 and PlayStation Plus, Bloodborne's free. Just a PSA. Also, um, it's funny because Demon Souls is the first game, but Demon Souls is a terrible place to start because everything's super unclear and like cryptic. 
Okay. And, like, all the, like, your strength and dexterity everything are defined by symbols that are, like, three little weird hook-shaped things. Mm. It's goofy. Do you mean, dark, did you say Dark Souls 1? Demon Souls. Oh, Demon okay. Souls, yeah. yeah. Dark Souls 1 is, is like... Well, Demon Souls is officially, like, down online. Yeah, so. poor, well, there's already oh, fan yeah. servers up. Okay. Oh, so good. They closed Demon Souls servers, like, a month ago, but they, they, fan servers are already popping up. But, yeah, Dark Souls is very, very good. And it is difficult, but it's, like, to make it less difficult, all you have to do is just be patient and just block and use fire and don't don't forget to drop your shield always drop your shield it regains stamina faster oh you'll learn about that in the dark souls playthrough but anyway just be a pyromancer then you went at dark souls pyromancers are fun no you just strength build honestly go strength build and use havel's armor and get a big sword and the black knight great sword do what go watch peach saliva's playthrough of dark souls one and watch her brute force the entire game like just face fuck bosses and they can't kill her fast enough it's that's great. what i'm gonna do yeah that's how i play games anyway <laughs> i might I, I might do decks just because it's kind of more interesting i think but anyway but yeah so arms is having the u.s and canada online open it's a torn an online ranking tournament for arms between march 8th and 18th which isn't today is march 8th so from today until the 18th, and then the online finals will be streamed by Nintendo on the 31st. Now we're gonna beat out those bastards in Canada. Yeah, we can take those hosers to the to the to the Tim Hortons. Take that, eh? <laughs> Holy those damn Toblerones! That's Holy, not take that, eh? That's that's Swedish or some shit. Yeah, yeah Toblerones. Those are uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. I'm glad that I remembered uh, hosers. There's Mr. Yabuki. Hello, Mr. Yabuki. I, I was hoping they say whoever is, wins the tournament has to face him. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just Zerk versus Yabuki again. <laughs> BA for arms. Splatoon 2 Inkopolis News Bulletin. It's oh update time. My God. So, guys, as you can probably tell by the OBS picture, we are very excited in this household about the fucking Octob expansion. We have box fillings and we have Cali back. Um, a hundred plus pieces of new gear. I am I losing forgot. my damn mind. <laughs> like, I lost my mind at that. That's at the start of the video. I'm like, wow, what a great start off. We get two new stages. Isn't it three new stages? Is yes, it? it is, I believe. Oh, God. Because Camp Triggerfish and then, like, a new one. And Did then... they bring back Camp Triggerfish? Yeah. Yes. Because I, I was, like, everyone's... having a stroke this entire yeah, time. Yeah, that's and, the one everyone's been th asking Yeah, that's about. been the meme on, uh, in, in Goblet Square on the, like, faux Meverse posts is Camp Triggerfish when. What are these cool things? Ugh, oh, cool it jackets. just looks. I, I still don't have all the base, so we have Piranha Pit and Camp, Camp, Camp oh, Triggerfish. Yeah, Camp Triggerfish. Piranha Pit was in the previous Wahoo game. World! Yeah, Wahoo World! Um... Piranha Pit is the conveyor belt stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Rank X. Rank S X. S plus on drugs. So all you motherfuckers, all you Nate types, I see you, Nate. All you oh. motherfuckers that were like, oh, I'm going to get to max rank and stop playing so that my rank is preserved because, oh, I, I could lose my rank. <laughs> well, guess what, idiot? Now you got to rank up again. Suck. So suck it. So now you have suck. to keep playing, bitch. Yeah. Play this good game. Just keep playing the good game. Do it. It's too but rank X is a thing. Good. Rank X is cool. I refuse to play rank because I hate it. <laughs> I haven't played ranked at all. Ranked is really fun when you like are lucky enough to be matched with a good team because you can't do league battles until I think B minus. You have to be B minus. B minus. Yeah. So that's like playing salmon run with randoms who don't call for help when they die and just kind of. You know, walk around, don't even grab an egg. So that's what it's like. It's painful. Yeah. But when you get a good team, it is so much fucking fun. You need a squad. Is you really need. do. <laughs> squad. You, you gotta suffer till you hit B minus. <laughs> get the squad. Um, but Callie has a beanie. I okay. So I was at work today. I wasn't supposed to work today. We were all supposed to watch this together. Um. Oh, Yubari was at work. Anyway. Is this a spoiler? This yeah. this Cali beanie is this a spoiler? No, it's not. Well, this is new. No, the well, it's Agent. It's well, a spoiler Agent that she's one. here and alive. Yeah, it is. Well, <laughs> well, maybe you should meet well, the fucking single player. Maybe yeah. I refuse for this year old game. Well, what they said is is after meeting certain conditions in the game, which is basically yeah. when you beat the fucking single player. You have, you um, get you get the octoling. 
to play as. No. Oh no, you get Callie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To talk to. Yeah. I don't know if she does anything. I think she just talks to you. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think she does anything. But she's I, just kind of I there. believe they say after the Octoling part of the trailer, I think they say you had to beat her story mode to um, to get the Octolings as playable characters. You, you have to beat the Octoling story. Mode. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. do I have to finish the main story to get the Octoling story? No, that's no, the DLC. That's, okay. That's the DLC. As long as I can play that separate and not touch the main game. Did you have to touch the main you game? Really I don't. Should. Good. It's so fun. I don't care. But it's, it's not even fun. that it's, it's fun. Not even I like... don't care. I don't care. Alex. Everyone tell you Barney's wrong. They've all told me I'm wrong. I don't Alex, care. Alex, I will oh. do it for you if you will do the last level. Real shit, it's worth it. <laughs> I don't want you it touching. Was the same thing. I don't want you touching my Joy-Con with your sweaty palms. I'll use my Joy-Con. Crazy. Trying so, to trying to sync to another man's switch with your fucking Joy Con. This, yeah, cause I, I I started crying when Splatoon <laughs> came on, and I'm glad I didn't have any customers. Then Callie came on, and I was audibly weeping so loud that the the yoga people next door probably heard me. This came on, and I was really trying to like this being the Octoling not trailer. Just die, the Octoling trailer. She's walking down the subway from Silent Hill 3. And then Biggie and Tupac are like, oh, there she oh is. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love the fucking... The big fucking, isopod. The isopod, yeah. <laughs> fucking... The gangsta isopod. And I like that, uh, what's his face? Motherfucking uh, Captain Cuttlefish is wearing, like, a hip-hop bla- uh, track suit the, or whatever. The blob fish. The fucking I blob... I didn't notice the blob fish either. I was either. panicking. <laughs> There's a fucking blob fish. The blue octolings. Yeah. Look really good. And she's just fucking, oh my god, that's Agent 4. And then there's this weird thing with them, like, the them being grown in tubes. Yeah. Is, I don't know. Well, that not that how octolings are born? Because in, uh, in the other game, it was that, like, the, the minion octolings are... If you, if are, you if cut you, off a tentacle... Yeah, the octoling, tentacles grow yeah. into it. So is that how... Octoling like kids are born. No, is I think that's just how these ones are. They're gonna yeah. explain it because this is a bunch of lore. Stuff. Yeah, because they yeah. they said they're this is like Agent Seven or something. Yeah, yeah. Agent Eight. Agent Eight. So oh, because Eight. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Oh, um, I just I just un- okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why there's no five six seven. Yeah. The year of the Octoling. Yeah. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, it's very exciting. Also, everyone go watch the trailer because the song's really Please? good. Please. Yeah. Uh, like. I, I like the I like her working her way out of the sewers to I get know. back to Incopolis Cir- like you know square, and then. Well, when that started, I was like, "Oh, this is just like a cool little thing." To, I thought it was to a new show how how the octolings got playable because yeah. they came out from the thing. But I'm like, "Oh no, it's a lot deeper and better than that." <laughs> yeah. Um, I I thought it was a new stage at first. Cameron just said Alex isn't too wrong about the single player. What the hell do you mean it's, by that? It's the single player isn't really fun to play, but the ending is so it's so it's good. It's fucking fun to play. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, it's okay. About? I am not as It's at least like okay. Yeah. It's okay. What the fuck? The ending oh is God. worth suffering through it if even if it's you not... hate it. Oh. If you yeah, hate it, even suffer if you hate it. it, you should really not even watch it on YouTube. Just just barge through it. And fucking play the last fucking battle. And Yubari needs to Can't beat Mario Odyssey people. to see that ending, too. That is true. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? How she had, like, a certain amount of things to get in through the subway no, pass? No, I didn't see. Oh, yeah. it's just like Silent Hill 4. Yeah, just like Silent, Silent Hill 4. 4. Look at her, she's sleeping <laughs> on the ground. I would sleep on the You're ground You're stuck on single player because you fucking suck and you don't play the game ever. Damn, Man, we're, bodied. We're fucking bodying people on stream. I'm upset. Splatoon that, is so good. That and we're we're doing that and time stamping this video. Super. Well, I guess it's Ugh. time stamped by default, but still, yeah. whatever. Um, so this is something I didn't notice about them initially that kind of bugs me. Mm-hmm. Did you look at their ears? Yeah. Yeah. Their gigantic weird paddle ears. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're they're have, have pretty big. Ears. Have they always been like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've never noticed. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, it was really weird looking. Year of the Octoling. They're more elfy. Yeah. So, well, no, yeah, the, it's the Octolings 20... are elfy. Because they got the pointy ears. Or the, the Inklings have pointy ears. Well, they're both. Yeah. Um, yeah, so 2018 is the year of the Octolings is eight. Um, yeah. If you pre purchase the Octo expansion, which is up now for $20, uh, you get Octo headgear and clothes, uh, which is just. It's like a recolor of the. Um, the studio headphones that are red and then like a sweater with an octoling on it. And, and, you, and, you, get them now. 
Yes, yeah. now if you pre-purchase yeah. um, for the summer release of the DLC. It's pretty cool. Which, I'm, I, I'm at the point, and I'm so in love with Splatoon, that it's come to the point that I want to buy three more Switches and three more copies of Splatoon <laughs> 2 just to buy the, the, like, expansion three more times. Um, Gino says, I hope you have more room in that body bag for me when I say I've only played Splatoon once. <laughs> That's like he played with me during the beta of Splatoon Two. See, that's fine because you're not actively like just going. Oh, you know, the single player is okay. If you played it once, I'll give you credit because you played it at all and you gave it a chance. I don't think it was even that he didn't like it. It just not he... not implying that he didn't like it. But even if you didn't buy it, I'm glad you played it. I'm glad you tried it. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a stream someday. Maybe when I have better internet. <laughs> yeah. But um. <laughs> But speaking of Splatoon, it's the it's the stock inklings from the E3 2015 trailer. <laughs> no, see that's 2014. That's the stock inkling girl, but that's very clearly Splat Tim. Yeah, <laughs> Splat Tim is confirmed for Smash. That's Splat not, Tim is in yeah. Smash. How many? How many people what? are going to be named Splat Tim online? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so so here's the deal. Here's kind of like. This is all kind of been leading up to more of a discussion about Smash, I guess, because I like how her like tentacles are glowing in the dark. Yeah, I know. Um, so she's fucking horrible. She's like, "What the fuck what is the that?" Hell? And then the Lord of Cinder Mario. Is <laughs> yeah. He's like, "I guess I'm gonna have to go fishing." Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to link the flame. <laughs> um. So th this is so this is where I kind of want to discuss, and now I gotta like get back into thinking about Smash mode. Yeah. So, this game... At least pause on a picture of Mario so I can look at it. Yeah, let's, let's move forward to pause on Mario. <laughs> but it's um, girl. So, there's, there's a lot of discussion happening right now about what this is exactly. It's a port. I can tell you, it is not fucking Smash 5. Anyone, even Pro ZD, like a lot of prolific people on the internet are like... Wow, I hope this isn't just a port of Smash 4 that came out three years ago. Yes, it is. It's Smash 4. Go if it, if it were if it were anything but Smash 4, they wouldn't have just showed the Inklings, like, in Breath of the Wild Link. It would be completely fucking different, and just, it, like, they would have just showed a fucking logo. But showing the Inklings that weren't in 4... Here's my here's my thing with the Inklings and why it's a Smash Four port. So somebody so we were talking in chat about where was it? Let me find the fucking discussion we had because it was so. Uh, ba 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 ba. I don't know where it is. Um, but but basically it was. Why would Breath of the Wild Link be in it if it wasn't a new game? Okay. It would be a separate character. That why would Bayonetta be in it? Well, no, no. <laughs> why would... Six Marvs if this was a that. new Smash <laughs> for the Switch, if it were a new Smash for the Switch, yeah. why would it be Splatoon 1 Inklings immediately yeah. after a Splatoon 2 trailer? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Isn't, is, it, is it more likely that it's the Wii U game with the, with the Wii U Inklings Plus Breath of the Wild Link. Plus a balance that patch. Make sense? Plus a balance patch. Plus possibly ice climbers because I think they're in, God, in the I background. Hope so. Because Link was in on the Wii U. Because I was thinking he's probably oh, yeah, just. Oh yeah, he was on the Wii U. <laughs> he's probably just in alt costume, but at the same time no, he's he not. he no. has the the item wheel thing, the the damn iPad. Yeah. That he could use as a move set. He could, but like I mean, Robin. if anything yeah. else, my other my other suggestion was either a he's a new character because he has a diverse enough move set, or b this is his new default, and then the green cap is his alt costume. Okay, That'd which be fine. which would yeah. be hyper depressing, but also fine. Um, why would fine with anything because we shouldn't have even gotten this. Yeah, we shouldn't have. <laughs> Nate says that Sakurai on Twitter says it's not a port. Is Where it, is this? Is this meme? fake Sakurai? Is this meme? That's fake. Sakurai. Is this meme? Because I don't think real <laughs> Sakurai, Sakurai has a Twitter. Yeah, he's not on Twitter to my knowledge. Um, but why wouldn't it be a new Smash? Smash Bros. came. Okay, so here's the thing: the only <laughs> way that this is a new Smash is if this was being worked on directly, like beside Smash Four, right? Like they the, wouldn't have had enough time. The only way, because okay, it takes That's not how games work. It takes <laughs> four. They said like during the last Smash thing. I'm gonna open this. Sora Sakurai. 
Um, they said that it takes four months to make a Smash character. I can't. This is all in Japanese. Hit, first, hit up there. The translate. Uh oh, no. translate. Uh. Software for Nintendo Switch, Smash Bros, Smash Brothers, tentative name, scheduled for release in 2018, please wait for the next report. I'm still at the stage of just announcing the title, but I keep silent and working day by day. Please wait until the time is uh, content to be released. Uh... Where does he say it? Because I I haven't heard this yeah, at all. Yeah, this is, I, this is from... You heard it sooner. This is from October 4th. This is from November. This is from November. The most recent tweet is four hours ago, and it's the trailer, and then three hours ago saying, I am still at the stage of just announcing the title, but I keep silent and working day by day. Please wait until the time the content can be released or released. That's not... That is not confirmation that this is a new game. That's not even, like, hinting. Now, let's say it is a new game. Let's say it is Smash 5. It is going to be almost identical to Smash yeah. 4. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's going to be the same physics, the same models, the same animations and shit. Wasn't Smash 4 being worked on immediately after Brawl yes. came out? Yes, Smash, yeah. Smash 4 was started in development immediately after Brawl. So, and when did why Brawl do come people out? expect a new what game in three gap? years? Yeah, that's what I'm looking yeah. at. Brawl came out in, like, 2008. Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out. Can't see because my fucking window's too small. Smash Bros. Brawl came out... 2008! 2008. Yeah. January 31st. Yeah. So the beginning of 2008. Yeah. So early 2008, and then Smash 4 released in November of... Two th or October of... Two no. It, yeah, it was... Smash 3DS was November of... It was November. Of 2015? Uh, no, the... the Wait, yeah. Yeah, it 15. was 14. It was 14? Four 14, yeah. yes. Okay. So that's... Because it was a year years? after Awakening. Math? Math. I don't know. 14, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight. thirteen, fourteen. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years for a new Smash title that everyone says is bad and hates and complains about. If he's only at the point of having a title, then it wouldn't be releasing in twenty eighteen. Yeah, exactly. It, like that's that's the thing. The thing that that like uh, he's only at the point of having a title. That that's a that's a shitty Google Translate translation of a Japanese thing that he said. They're just not sure what to call the Switch version of yeah. Smash Bros. Yeah. It's literally a tentative title. Instead it's not of, a new title. Yeah, <laughs> instead of Smash 3DS or Smash Wii U, they could call it, I don't fucking know, Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers, Brothers Explosive or some yeah. bullshit. Like, they can say Smash Switch, but if but if they don't want to do that and they if they want to give it a number, like, yeah. but none of the other ones have had numbers, so what do you call it? Do you just call it Smash Switch? They're going to well, call it Smash Kerfuffle. But yeah. no matter what, it does. that doesn't necessarily mean that it's new. Yeah. And you it's, know they could be working on Smash 5. I don't remember if they said this is the last Smash game. I think game. it's the last one Sakurai's doing because he died during this one. But they said, that, <laughs> they said that during Brawl, too, and then they drove more money to his house in the dump truck. Yeah. Um, and they were, so, like, making you know, a new game. it's very possible, but I think like this is a super street fighter at least situation. at least i would give it at least three years down the line yeah till it, we get smash five yeah i don't know how people are fucking pulling this out of their asses because it's not enough time but here's the thing like it, it's it's setting yourself up for failure like nintendo fans always do and it's <laughs> it's hyper naive yes to think that this would be a new game this yes. this soon after smash yes. four Unless they were working on it it's, before Smash 4. That's the problem. <laughs> and, and this is all assumptions. And we've, we've learned through our years that assuming makes an ass out of you and me. So you can't fucking do that. Nintendo fans, you know, we're all Nintendo fans, but they love to fucking hype shit up and get ideas in their head. New Pokemon! I want to see the new Pokemon tonight. I want to see Virtual Console. This is bullshit. We didn't get Virtual Console. We didn't get Pokemon Switch tonight. Yeah, and where the and, fuck is YouTube? Yeah, where this the trailer fuck is YouTube? Sucks. Fuck yeah. this direct. This whole direct sucks because we it. didn't get YouTube. Where's MySpace and Hulu? <laughs> <laughs> but, I, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. It, like, yeah, sure, Nate. If it's Smash 5, I'll buy you Smash 5. Um, <laughs> it's probably going to be called, like, Super Smash Brothers. Or, or wait. That's what it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra Smash Bros. Yeah. Ultra Smash Bros. It'll be Ultra Smash Bros. No, it'll be Super Smash Bros. Star Allies. 
They're just, it's, it's a working title because Nintendo is horrible at making names for things. Yeah, yeah. No, that's why no the Wii U Project was called Octopath the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traveler. No, yeah. Did, oh, the Wii U. after the Wii U, they hired a team to stop naming things horrible things. Yeah, I remember there was yeah there was a thing about that where they, they had to hire a staff specifically to name things because they're like oh god we can't do this. It's just gonna be Smash Four with new characters and a balance patch. I don't know. And new stages. Where, like that that's such a dumb reason to assume because of a tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Not calling you dumb, Nate, but, like, what did he say? Apparently the accurate translation is, right now we're just at the stage where we revealed this game, but I've been working on this game in silence day after day. Please wait until we can release more information or until release day. That doesn't, like, that still doesn't. Like, we are working on literally no information, but my, my point is that, like, it's not even that it's impossible to be Smash 5, that, but my point is that it's... It's dumb, <laughs> like it is straight up dumb to to assume that this is a new game, yeah. and everyone will be disappointed if when it is a Smash Four port, because they're all thinking like, oh, it's going to be a new thing. But like, that's not how this works. That's literally not how video games work. But let's say that it is how video games work. It's going to be so nothing. It's going to be like half the cast of Smash Four, and everyone will be mad because it'll just be fucking Smash Sixty Four's roster because it takes so <laughs> long to make characters. Yeah. It takes four months to make a character, guys. Well, that's the thing. If if it is a Smash Five, it's either going to have nothing in it or just reused assets. Yeah, or it'll be in reused. Which case, Smash it 4. would just be a port. Yeah, it, new yeah. it might as well be a port yeah. with a new color palette, maybe. Because if you if like if you're reusing assets, then don't call it a new fucking game. Yeah, yeah. Capcom. Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> But, but but that's like if Street Fighter Five came out three years after Street Fighter Four. Yeah. This is yeah. a this is a Super Street Fighter situation. Hey, you know what came out like five, uh, three, four, or five years after Super Street Fighter Four? Ultra. Ultra Street Fighter Four, yeah. yeah. which was oh, Street Fighter Four with more characters and shit in it. That's a really good. No, it's point. a new game. It's a new game. It's a new game. <laughs> I mean, essentially, and this would essentially be a new game, even if it was just that. Like that's that's real. It's yeah. like Ultimate Ultimate Marvel Three is a new game. Yeah. essentially we're like, not saying it's not gonna have it's nothing not, new yeah. no it's gonna have new things in it and speaking of new things let's talk about the new things that are gonna be in it inklings let's talk about how the inklings are going to have like the most obnoxious mobility limiting things in the game because their whole gimmick is spraying the floor and making the other team walk slow no what do you well, mean they, no? they could well i think they i don't could. think it'll make them walk slow I, why wouldn't i it? assume that I don't know. If you I walk... think the ink would just make them go faster because they can swim through it. Yeah. Yeah, but what if it makes them faster and makes the opponent slower? I don't think I it'll don't make the opponent. Nick, we'll Bayonetta that. is in the game. I know, but the witch time's a different thing. No, That's it's like not. A move. We are we are talking about a game where there are no limitations. <laughs> where there are characters yeah. like Bayonetta. If people think that the inklings aren't gonna be fucking well, busted. If like... you have a tiny little motherfucking ink meter. Tiny yeah. little ink meter. I no, it's think just it could you, work. You spray a couple little poops yeah. and they last yeah. for a little bit. I think that could work. But I'm I'm just saying that like so. Yo, be, what if ink mines are in? Yeah. Oh! What if they're just solid snake? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But I, but like my my thought immediately was like, what if the inklings are like more broken than bayonetta? And then I we, hope so. Probably. And then we get to hear everyone complain because the new thing. So my first my first initial thought was like everybody was boy. Now the Smash players get to shut the fuck up and stop whining, where's Smash, where's Smash, right? No, now, my favorite thing no. in the world is hearing them complain even when the game's already no, out. No, but now we have a new problem, and the new problem is now that people think it's a new game, everyone's uh... posting their, this is who I want for Smash again. And they're fucking, their fake-ass fan edits of, oh, look, it's Goku and Smash, like... Hey, Goku and Smash is plausible. It is, because Universe 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, Bond Dynamics. But literally... Saint Seiya is plausible. Anything we shifted happen. from one annoying twitter problem to an uh, to Another... the to the old annoying twitter oh, problem. i think yeah. smash in general is just an annoying twitter problem. basically <laughs> and whatever character it's a great game and whatever yeah. and whatever character comes out will be complained about yeah, yeah. and so like well, i don't why wasn't chrono in where Wait, do you think this will have all the content already unlocked no really well yeah it, like, if, like yeah, all, if, it, if it's a Smash 4 port, it's all say. the DLC characters yeah. so do, in it. So do I we hope. get the Jackie and Akira costumes for Mies? Yes. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus. I can make them again. Wait like three weeks and then we'll get the DX flash on the end of the thing. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> unlike everyone else, I'm fine with the characters I wanted to be just DLC me costumes. I'm not. Because like... I want Knuckles. 
Knuckles would be cool. No. Actually. Knuckles would be hype. Well, he'd be alright. They put him in Project M. They need to do a Sonic Boom Knuckles, though. We just mm-hmm. need a port of Project M. We need bootleg yeah. Switch games now. Yeah. When, when is Nintendo going to port Project M to the Switch? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you could trick them. What if no. Metroid Prime Four plays like fucking other M? It is absolutely yeah. Gonna... We're not. We're not. We are not saying that it's not yeah. going to have new characters. It's going to have like a probably a bunch of bullshit. I would costumes. guess another five new characters, maybe. Yeah. I'm guessing Ice Climbers absolutely. definitely because the 3DS isn't holding it back anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is another thing that I mentioned earlier is the the possible rebranding could be a way to get away from the 3DS because the whole thing was yeah. everything that comes to the Wii U will come to the 3DS, whatever. But the 3DS literally made it so that Ice Climbers couldn't be in the game. So in order oh, to yeah. so in order to have uh uh what's his name Evil Fox and uh yeah. I, and Ice no no Evil Fox Coyote in order to get oh, yeah. Coyote and Ice Climbers back in the game like it could be a way of dropping the 3DS the new branding. Um, and we'll get the protagonist of Metal Gear Survive now, which would explain why they're reworking the title. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And yes, we will get Venom instead of uh, MGS2 Snake with MGS3 Snake's oh, face. God. Did you ever notice that? That it's MGS2 Snake's body with MGS3 Snake's face. Is it really? So it's Solid Snake's body and Big Boss's face. <laughs> I was, you it's know what? Weird. I hope they don't rework the title and it's called Super Smash Brothers for 3DS on Switch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's called Super Smash Brothers for Wii DS. For Wii DS. <laughs> That wasn't what I was gonna go with. But that's what I'm going with now. <laughs> but um, no, it, it like it'll have Inklings and it obviously has Breath of the Wild Link and you know, and this is assuming that it is a Smash Four, uh, you know, remastered port, whatever. Um, and then we all assume an Arms character. Be it, I hope. Be I it hope Spring Man. Spring Man or Ribbon, uh, Ribbon Girl. That would be nice. I want Spring or Man both. So much. Or both. I mean. Or as alts. Yeah, I, I've been saying for a while that yeah. they could be. There's no reason they couldn't be alts because yeah. they're gonna have a double jump already. Like yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, what are uh, there double jumps in Smash? Yeah, there's. Yeah, everybody has a double jump. I'm stupid. I haven't played Smash in a while, so. <laughs> okay. But, um, so the one thing I want to talk about a lot with this. What do you think the Splatoon stage is gonna be? Oh my god. Oh, you're right. Because. And the music. Okay. Earlier, I was thinking like Urchin Underpass or just some shit, but what if? What if it's in Inkopolis Square or Inkopolis Center or whatever the first games was with Plaza. the Squid Sisters playing Splatfest in the background? It it will absolutely be a Splatfest stage. Oh my god. Now that I just and thought the about Squid it. Squid Sisters are in the background somewhere. Oh. What about if it's off the hook on one stage and Squid Sisters are on another or the they're on the same or, stage or and either that what or What if it changes with the music? Well, no, <gasps> I, I was going to say I was going to say if it changed like the way um the way like Town and City changes between day and night. There are certain stages in Smash 4 that when you pick them, they change like backgrounds randomly every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It, it'd probably be like that. Um, but what if you? Like, but it'll be, it'll one... be a Delfino Plaza style. Yeah. <laughs> what What if you chose one like song and it's it plays off the hook and they're in the background and you choose yeah. another song and it has the Squid oh Sisters. Oh my god. That'd be cool. This is too speculative and yeah. we're gonna be disappointed. No, but see, <laughs> what, what, what fun, but though. what you're saying isn't that crazy. And no. even if that isn't true, it wouldn't be that big of a letdown. Mm-hmm. But people being like, this is a new game. And Goku yeah. Blanco will be in it. I just That's the kind of shit that... Blanco. I hope the Squid Sisters are at least an assist trophy. That too? I don't know oh, yeah, what the trophy. fuck they would do. And Pearl yeah, should, co- Pearl should come out of a Pokeball. They'll whack you with their fucking big yeah. ass yeah. hands. Pearl should, they Pearl. play the song that fucks up, uh, what's his face? DJ Octavio. Yeah. And then everyone would like move in slow motion or some shit. Like Midna. Or they just start dancing. Yeah. Except ever except whoever used the assist trophy and they're a bastard for not dancing. Yeah. But they get a free hit in. No, you know what it is? The assist trophy is Judd and he <gasps> and he does what Devil did in Brawl where he makes the screen shift really annoying. Yeah. I remember when Devil used to point and the yeah. screen oh, yeah. and the screen would move. That was the fucking best. Yeah. His name is Shaggy Rojo. Yeah, we need Shag- Shaggy <laughs> Rojo as a... <laughs> I want El Hermano in Smash. <laughs> Damn it. Gohan Blanco needs to be in Smash. If they make another Smash poll, I'm oh. going to stop voting for Wonder Red and I'm going to vote for Goku Blanco. I only voted for Lanky Kong. I voted for Wonder Red and no one else. Yeah. Watch them put out a trailer for like... The new platinum character in Smash Four, and you're like Wonder Red, and they're like Jean, <laughs> <laughs> and she's and she's a Bayonetta clone. Yeah, Aww. but she's got better like better frame data. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man. She is playable in Bayonetta, so that's plausible. And then they <laughs> add Zach Fair, and he's like Cloud, but he has better frame data. Oh my god. And, and a better projectile because he has like Firaga or and something. He knows Ken, and he's like Ryu, but he has better frame <laughs> data. <laughs> <laughs> I want all of the DLC characters to be clones of old DLC characters. <laughs> they put Alm in, and Alm is an, as a Roy clone. Oh my god, dude, I'd be so happy. Because yeah, like my so my tweet out of context earlier about um me wanting the worst for the Smash community is like like I have a lot of friends in Smash, and like I, like I feel bad generalizing them and then talking so much shit. But Alm is better than that, Nate says. Nah, Roy's not trash. Fuck you. But anyway. Roy's a great. He has bell bottoms. Yeah, he's got bell bottoms. <laughs> he's, got, he's got big old chaps on him. I don't even like Fire Emblem, but I love Roy. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, like, it's just, you know, I, my, I mentioned earlier how, like, if Bayonetta gets nerfed into the ground, people will be, like, cheering and applauding, even though, like, you know, because Captain Zack tweeted one time. He's like, yeah, it's great. I really enjoy it if you ban the character I've been playing for three years. Like, yeah. the character I've put all this effort into and, yeah. like, pioneered new things for. Because they just want to win yeah. with, with Link. They, they don't want to work. No, they just want to play Link yeah. and win. And no matter how many times the top players say, hey, just SDI, they're like, no, I no. don't want SDI, I just want her banned. <laughs> just, just wear my sippy cup. Um, <laughs> Not my deodorant, my yeah. sippy cup. I don't know, oh get God. that deodorant out of my face, give me the sippy cup. <laughs> The CP cup with water in it. <laughs> this is no, they, they don't like water. They yeah. don't like the taste. We're yeah. we're one step closer to having Waluigi playable. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> they should put Birdo in there. And Birdo like only Dude, has one. He bores you. Birdo's only move is the egg. Yes. I fucking love Birdo. We know. What if, what if what if she gets in as an assist trophy and she's just Clefable and she throws eggs everywhere? That would be cool. That'd be, be great. fine. <laughs> I, I do hope they bring back some of the old stages, like the, the Mario 2 stage from... Uh, oh, yeah. Was that in Melee? Yeah, that was in yeah. Melee. That one's pretty cool. Oh, was that the one with the flippy uh, yeah. fucking stage hazards? Yeah. Where you yeah. Die all and the that's where, where Birdo would come in and spit eggs across oh, the stage. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think good. I think you meant Poke Floats, but I agree with those. Yeah. When <laughs> When is Poke Floats 2? Unbanned Poke Floats. Dude, Poke Floats, but with the new Pokemon, beware. Oh, comes up. dude! Yeah. <laughs> you have to fight on uh, on Lunal. Back. You have to fight on Lunal and Solgaleo while they're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't know if there's more to say. If there's anything else I really have on my mind, but yeah, the yeah moral of the story. I don't think it's Smash Five. I think it's a port. If it not if not if it is Smash Five, it's gonna be like a, a Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle or Street Fighter Five kind of situation where, where every character is DLC. where it comes out with Smash 64's roster and then every yeah. character's DLC. We saw more than Smash 64's roster at least. Yeah, no. Bowser well, was there. Yeah, like we can back up a little bit. You can you can very clearly see like Samus. And, yeah, yeah. You and can it. see Samus and Bowser and Donkey Kong and. And Marth is there. Ice climbers, make it full ice, Yeah, ice climbers. People were saying this one on the far left is ice climbers. Uh, I don't know. It, yeah, it's, it's hard to tell a lot yeah. of them. That the cream guy in right next to there. To you, can, the left. you can see Kirby here. You can see Pikachu yeah. and Jigglypuff. You can see something. Yeah, to the left is Donkey Kong with the cream. Head. Yeah, far left is Donkey. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, that's Jimmy Neutron. Yes, yeah, Jimmy oh, Neutron. Shit. Jimmy Neutron's in Smash, you guys. Zant next to him. Got a blast. Oh, it's Zant. I Zant's see a point. In. Who I the see fuck a point. Is Zant? He's from Twilight Princess. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is this is Sheik's like uh, profile here. The two. Who? The two. Sheik. Right here. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I kind of wish. <laughs> That's enough wish, for me. I kind of wish Sheik and Zelda were in the same slot still, because no. I like to go in Beauty Zee 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 with just yeah. the whole man. I love the sword fighters, Gino, and that's one. Of, that's one of the things that I like. I bug the Smash players about. Is that it? Yo, what if Dark Souls okay. man is in? Okay, there there was a weird shape in the fire that I thought was Mewtwo for a second. Anyway. That'd be cool if he was up there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I saw up in the, in the top left corner. I was like, is that fucking Mewtwo? And I unpaused it. I'm like, oh no, it moved. Okay, so one thing I'm going to say about this game: When is Brave Tharja? Go on. It may be a port, but what if they add a subspace emissary type thing? Fuck that. I agree, but what if they do? People would be excited. Every yeah. I saw people on Twitter like, "Oh my god, if they add a story mode, it'd be so hype." Okay, so the thing with Subspace Emissary like is, is fuck that mode. Yeah, but the cutscenes yeah. were so cool. The cutscenes were cool, but <laughs> you know what? Other cutscenes are cool. All uh, of the trailers from the Smash Four. It's true. We don't need it. 
No. That's yeah. the thing with this game is we didn't need it. We still don't need it, but, but it's it, happening. It, it's cool to see Fox and whoever fight Rayquaza. Like, yeah. that's yeah. neat. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, a lot of people love Subspace Emissary. We don't like it because it's like... You know, I have I have my issues with playing single player in any fighting game, even though it's not a fighting game. But, <laughs> uh, it's a party game. Um, yeah, like, it's like Gino, Gino loves Subspace Emissary. It's, but it's just like... I, I just don't want to do it. I'm fine and with fighting game, like, single player, as long as it's not horrible and long and I have to do it to unlock the characters. Yeah, unlocking yeah. the characters is the big thing. Because like, I don't even care about playing as Rob, but it, it it pisses me off when he's not on my screen. Place 3,000 matches or play through the 8-hour story mode. Yeah. yeah. And I just want... It, it's just like Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Where oh, I forgot that had a story mode because I yeah. didn't play it. Exactly, I bu- I paid <laughs> I bought the fucking thirty five dollars season pass to not play the story mode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yes, can we get Smash Run online? Can we get fucking Smash oh my Run? God. Can we get three DS Smash Run in the fucking console game? Because it's so much better than that other board game shit they I put in there. That I board like game Smash shit was Run. In there. That's Smash Tour sucks. Smash, Smash Tour. Fucking Smash sucks Run really is awesome. Bad. Smash Run is awesome. It's not that great. I, I had a lot of fun with it. I didn't like any I used of the to modes. Center run. Oh, I liked it. It was like it, it was like City Trial, but it wasn't City Trial, so I didn't like it. Where is fucking Air Ride? Just... <laughs> Where's Air Ride? I think that's a piece of my phone. Case. No, that's my eyelash. Oh, okay. Give me Air Ride. Sammy's air eyelash. I dropped my eyelash. Sammy, after after we're done with this, you want to get me a dolphin emulator so I can play Air Ride? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh. Not emulator. We're buying it. Oh yes, we don't sue us. We have a GameCube in the other room. Yeah, we have the rights to it. We are supporting the official release of Uh, Kirby Air Ride on PC. (laughs) I mean, Crash is on Switch now, so it can happen. Wait, wait until Nintendo relaunches their own PC platform. I'm surprised they didn't talk about uh, the Mario Kart mobile game. Mario Mario Kart. The Mario Kart mobile game. I'm surprised they didn't announce the sales figures from Fire for uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. Did you know Fire Emblem Heroes to date has grossed three million dollars? Really, a free-to-play mobile game. That's gotcha's baby. Just from Gotcha Draws. Yeah. That's okay. In, in a year. In a year. In a year since its release. I'm really Brand glad. Brand recognition. Yes. And I'm really gotcha. glad that this happened because maybe we'll get a Mario variant, and I don't actually have to play Mario. You but just I can collect the Mario. You, yeah. You can spend your money to to look at the Mario. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Sad story, a tragic tale. I spent five dollars um, yesterday to summon, and then I su- I was tired. And I summoned from the wrong banner. <laughs> oh no! Because <laughs> there's the two Salica banners right now, and I pulled oh, from the wrong one. Oh god! Um, Did you at least get a five? No. Because oh. I know for a fact no one's playing Mario Run anymore. Actually, they are. They, it just came out half price. Yeah, it's really? it's a great game. Yeah. I don't I don't know of anyone who plays it. No, uh, like, I mean personally. Yeah. yeah. But. Like, but Mitomo it's, it's has been dead for, like, when since it, came it came out. What's, yeah. what's Mitomo? Yeah, what the hell is That was fun as hell when it came I out. I had a lot of fun with it, yeah. If it had any gameplay, it would have been way better. Well, what could you have done? Yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes life. had a rhythm game. Fire Emblem Heroes had a rhythm game mini game added recently. Really? For an event. And then love it's, Live. And then it, just, it was basically just Love Live, and then it went away. <laughs> like um, Weird. Yeah. But hopefully the Mario Kart mobile game will be like Sonic Dash. Yeah, so that'd be fun. Oh well, yeah, like the Sonic Forces where it's the four lanes. And yeah, you, and yeah, you, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, and I get to play as Wario. Or you play like yeah. gourmet race, kind of. Yeah. Like the Mario they should make Mario. a Kirby mobile game that is just the sam like the the quick draw mini game. That'd be fun. That's oh, that's <laughs> one two switch. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is is that fifty or sixty? It was sixty. Sixty not anymore. That's bullshit. Dark Souls remastered is forty dollars on Switch. Yeah. One two Switch is sixty dollars on Switch. This not real game. This, this game that you not, look at your friend. It's not even a video game. I can't believe that wasn't a pack in title. I know. I it could have fo- sworn it was going to be a game. I'm, that, I'm surprised it wasn't. A game that forces you to confront your social anxiety and <laughs> stare at people in the eyes. Pay fifty dollars <laughs> to fucking have an anxiety attack. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty dollars. Look a human in the eyes. Do it, you coward. Be their friend. God damn it. What's so, a friend? 
tattoo their friend code into your body. So <laughs> since we're here, we should talk about something that got announced in the Japanese direct but not here. Taiko Drum Master. Taiko Drum Master. Taiko Drum Master. I'm going to find... have to get a Japanese eShop card because it wasn't on our direct, but I hopped off and I think I went on Tumblr and someone, oh, Bimani Style posted it. And I was like, oh, so, that's cool that so we're you not do getting use, it. So you do use the HD Rumble. Yeah, so what they did was Oops. they held it uh, kind of like you hold the jo the Joy-Cons for arms, mm -hmm. like, forward, and then to do... Uh, so that's for the don-don. Yeah. And then for the con, you kind of turn them to the side. Oh, that's cool. So that's why I'm like, how would that work? Uh, but apparently it, like, it looks really good. I'm pulling up images of the Joy-Con. Keep talking, keep talking. That's a butt! Shut up. Uh, why is there a butt in your... your uh... So, Shut up. <laughs> so um, I was like, oh, well, because I remember first hearing about it, I was like, what kind of, um, like, oh, Jesus. are they going to pack a Tadakon in? But Alex showed me, or I'm sorry, you've already showed me a couple months ago. He was like, these. Yeah, he's like, look at these Joy-Cons. I'm like, what do you mean Joy-Cons? Those look, how, look really cool. Look, look how beautiful. fucking good they look. They're amazing. That should have been the default. And like I, with the red buttons and the blue buttons. Yes. It's really? That would have been cool. But it but looks it's, it's the off, beautiful. It's like the off red and off blue of the, yeah. of the drums. It's so fucking cool. And like, so yeah. So this is Tekken Seven so, on Switch. Yes, yeah, this is the Tekken so Seven on Switch. You, you <laughs> should watch the trailer now if you can. Um, what they have is like, I mean, naturally they're gonna have a bunch of um, Nintendo titles, but I know they have Jump Up Superstar. Oh, thank and fucking god! Something from Splatoon. I was just gonna ask, is there a song yes. list out? Is uh, Trala Hedgehala still in it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like the second DS one. <laughs> can we get yeah, All Star? Yeah, but Dragon Ball's relevant now. Uh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Uh, no, we'll get Dragon Ball. The, the ultimate, ultimate battle. battle. <laughs> of and a girl and in a struggle for truth. truth. Um, but I was very happy to see, um, you know, it there at all. And I'll probably shoot for the physical if I can. Um, I, they, I, I assume they'll make a Tarakan for it eventually. Well, that's my thing is I'm like, oh yeah. So when he first said to me, oh, you know, we're getting Taiko on Switch. I'm like, how would that work? And I'm like... Why would they put in a Tadakan if there's this, like, awesome controller mm -hmm. with fucking tight, really responsive motion controls? But I'm like, arms is how like... would you fucking play that with motion controls? But seeing the trailer where, you know, they just kind of shook the wrist and dun 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 and mm -hmm. kan, 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 I was like, oh, okay. It's so just, that... it's really cool that we're getting a sequel to Samba de Amigo on the y Switch. Okay, so Ursus is, <laughs> is banned from speaking now. Uh, <laughs> um, we're not going to talk about Samba right now. Um, <laughs> this household has Samba troubles. <laughs> The troubles are I, I love Samba de Amigo and, no and one everyone else, else fucking hates it. Uh, <laughs> bum, bum, bum. That's that's rhythm heaven. Bum, 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 bum. Two thirty four. Um. <laughs> I don't care what it is. <laughs> so real shit. I wonder how much that's gonna cost because they're eighty dollar controllers and it's a sixty dollar game. Do it'll be so? a it'll be a hundred and twenty dollar bundle. You think so? Probably. I mean, they don't. That would be nice. Games normally go between like they're either sixty, eighty, or one twenty. Okay. They don't really normally go higher than that. Yeah, most collector's editions in Japan are 120. Yeah, like even even, Fist of the North even the God of War collector edition, which is crazy. Like, wow. let me find that real quick. Uh, but arms like motion controls are surprisingly responsive. Like yeah. some of the most responsive motion controls I've ever. It used. should not be optimal. Way to yeah. Play. Well, like, I mean, it actually is. Is it really? If you get good with it, you're better than everyone else because hmm. you can turn each. Oh fist yeah, you have like bowling yeah. video game ball altering yeah in your hands. ball altering you can alter your balls <laughs> i want to alter my balls uh <laughs> 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 he spit his fucking drink what a loser <laughs> let me uh add another image to this cluster fuck of images on the screen um the god of war i don't even know where this saved what was this file called uh uh, uh id uh, id 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 I did. I did. I'm scrolling slow because there's stuff on here I don't want you to see. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, you, you got ran. Where, where is it? We're past the eyes. Scales the cloaca. Scales the cloaca. I'm trying not to look too hard, but. 
No, that's fine. Uh, I'm trying to find the God of War thing. Why just... not you save it to your desktop? Ding dong. That's also true. Yeah. Then you gotta click where, out of the window. And that's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But anyway, yeah, the God of War um, Collector's Edition is really nice. And large. Very large, and it ha it's $150. That's fucking dumb. Like, really good dumb. And I'm just trying to get the picture of the figure. Well, it's a statue. Yeah, it's a statue. <laughs> it's a statue of Kratos and his kid. And they look fucking sick. So you're paying for the statue, and they're giving you the game and everything Basically. else for free. Well, that, that's how Tekken 7 was, where my... Yeah, Tek Tekken... that shit's fucking insane! Yeah, it's gigantic, and it's still standing. It still hasn't leaned at all. Um, and... It, yeah, it was a hundred and hundred was a hundred twenty for that thing. I yeah, thought. yeah, and That's like crazy. the figure itself is worth a hundred twenty, and oh so the game was basically God. free, and it came with the season pass and shit. So like, oh yeah, but yeah. Anyway, the yeah, the Tyco thing won't be more than one twenty, yeah. um, if that. Like, I'm so excited. They said summer. I think I can't read kanji, so yeah. I can't read. Want to get day skill on that? Please. Day skill is our Japanese slave. <laughs> <laughs> He reads. He translates for us. But um, 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 um yeah. I think that about wraps it up. Was that the only thing in the Japanese trailer that got announced, other than? I I don't know. I don't know. Do we want to look through that real quick? Sure. Um, yes. how, how would I find that? Uh, go to Nintendo Japan. <laughs> Just type in the pen. Hey, there you go. Nintendo Japan. Well, there's a dress. Yeah. They got uh, Wario, Made in Wario. I forgot. It's not that... Wario, it's Made in Wario. Is is that what it's called in Japan? Yeah, Made in Wario. Holy shit. Yeah. Is that like Made in Abyss? Yeah. <laughs> no! Wait. Made in Abyss has one of those characters what that like... What is that? It's an anime. Um, it's got... Th there's oh. this little brown character with white hair <sighs> that was like designed to be fucked by furry artists. Oh. It's like... It's like child proportions... Yeah. And it's like a weird furry humanoid thing. And so it's like, I, I saw it, and immediately before I saw porn of it, I'm like, there's porn of that. Yeah. Oh, if, they have the Japanese box art for the Kirby's. If there's one oh thing my God. that weird furries love is lollies as well. Well, it's like, yeah, you just you just combine markets. You're combining, yeah. you're combining the weird Twitter child porn artists and the weird Twitter, <laughs> like, a little bit too humanoid. Like, not quite a monster girl, but like, yeah. in between. Well, it's like, Monster Musume where they're not even monster girls. It's just like, look yeah, at those, this completely normal fucking... Moe bitch with a tail. Yeah. Nate, with she... a snake body. Nate, she may be pure, but you are not. Or like, the <laughs> art, the artists are not pure. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. Where, I, ju I saw Taiko. Did you? Yeah, I saw it. Did you? I did. Look harder. I saw it with my no, goddamn you eyeballs. You're a fucking liar. I'm sorry. Oh, I saw Okami and thought it was Taiko. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, those are the same, yeah, same thing. Shut up, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Soul, Tennis. Money System. Tennis. Money. When the fuck is the, the paid online starting? Mm. Uh, September. Oh, yeah, online tournaments in uh in Mario Tennis. Where the fuck? There oh, there it is! Type goal. So like, oh, so you yeah. have to beat your Switch screen with the Joy-Con. Yeah. yeah, you beat the actual screen with the Joy-Cons. Yeah. Yeah. You punch the glass with the, the, yeah. the sharp part of the Joy-Con. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want you to... S I, you could kind of see the con. Yeah. Where you kind of flip it to the side. Splatoon 2! Splatoon 2 music. And there's a bunch of mini games, so there's like a mochi pounding and like a weird cucumber slicing. Oh, I want to play mochi pounding. I know! I love pounding my mochi! So you're me, buying that, too. right? Yes, I'm buying it. I'm no also, matter what. I'm also buying you that. You really should. Are you getting it physical? I want the Joy-Con. Oh, yeah. I want the Joy-Con really bad, but I just got the Splatoon, so I kind of don't care. <laughs> I want the Joy-Con more than the They're game. They're really freaking. I'm waiting for Joy-Con to pop out at me more than the ARMS ones did. The, what about these? That, uh, that, well, you they don't they have come the, with the like, special grippies, too. Yeah. You can buy those grips, though. Yeah, but shut up is what. <laughs> Um, I am extremely excited for that. Yeah. So. But that's Nintendo. Thanks for coming. Thanks Nintendo. See you thanks, later. Bye. Thanks, Solaire.
for saving Thank us. Thank you for praising the sun. Everyone, please look forward to, is it, I think it's May 25th is when Dark Souls comes out. Please look forward to the Jolly Cooperation stream. And up until um, then, we'll be playing Street Fighter Collection on Switch. When does that come out? May 3rd. Really? Yeah. Uh, May is a huge one. We will absolutely yeah, have a third strike stream. <laughs> We're going to be eating 10 cent instant ramen for the whole month. I'm yeah. going to be, Alex will buy the game, I'll buy a fight stick. Yeah. And we'll just play on the same fight. <laughs> oh I'll boy. Use the stick and you use the box. I, I can't wait to try to play Street Fighter and Joy-Con. Yeah. Oh boy. Well that's the thing is it's I'm not. not good. I'm going to play single Joy-Con Street Fighter 3. There, there's a um, Hori, your fight stick that you have, there's yeah. one of those for the Switch. Is it available yet? It's $124. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you could buy it. Yet. Yeah, yeah, I think he, I don't know if it's pre order. Beats, but... beats, 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 beats. See, Gino knows. Yes. <laughs> Are you buying that, Gino? Because we can play. Anyone who plays has to fight my Hugo. And then when they beat my Hugo, they have to fight my Chun Li. <laughs> I should probably pick a main in that game. I I want Hugo to be my main, but Chun Li is my main. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might play Remy. Remy's cool. And Oro. I'm going to play a shit ton of fucking Street Fighter 2 online. <laughs> Because Eve I'm, Honda's fucking broken. I'm man. sure as heck is not. He? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. Hmm. Hmm. Because his fucking hundred hands slap covers the entire screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yep. Yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. And, um. And I look forward to potentially buying Nate Smash 5. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we're all super wrong. I hope they call it Smash 6 and we're yeah. like, where did the 5 go? And then they announce another one before it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they pull, they, they, they pull a Cloverfield Paradox. Oh, boy. <laughs> where, like, guess what you did? You bought it already. And then 1-2 one, one, switch unlocks and it turns out it was Smash 5 all along. Holy, that's oh. why it was $60. Yeah. We never knew. You pre-purchased it. <laughs> yeah. You got a free t-shirt. Open up the oh. box. It's there now. My, my joke I've been making on Twitter the past couple hours was um, wait until it is Smash 5 and so we have to run Smash Melee, Smash 4, and yeah. Smash 5. <laughs> and then, we're because everyone's excited, like, oh, oh Nate's, Nate's got like tweet earlier of we have to buy, they, the TOs will be buying Switches so we'll already have, they'll yeah. be there for Pokken. And I was like, nah, Smash 4 is going to bump out Pokken. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh boy! It was only my grand final Sunday to you. It was grand finals uh, for Evo in 2019. Will be. Let me find it. Grand finals Sunday Evo 2019 is Dragon Ball Fighters, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, Street Fighter Five, Guilty Gear, Smash Melee, Smash Four, Swash, which is Switch Smash, and MK11, which will have been out for six hours before pools. <laughs> <laughs> Since, uh, I guess Mortal Kombat's on a two-year cycle or some shit now. Yup. It's been <laughs> but, for a little while. Yeah. But. E Attention for coming! Yep. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs>